We're here as part of the Prince's Seeing is Believing visit. Uh, we have continually demonstrated our commitment to employment, training and enterprise. The main uh, um, aim today is to get, gain awareness of what's happening around the city and how we as a, a local business can help uh, the community in which we're working and, and the people and their businesses thrive and develop in the area. We're going to take a group of senior business leaders from the area to see things that they might not normally see in the course of their daily work. We're going to look at the issues and challenges facing young people at a school and then see how young people are developed and trained into vocational activities before then looking at the, the challenges facing entrepreneurs starting up businesses in, in and around Thurston, all of which is probably a microcosm of the challenges facing Stoke in general. I'm very honoured to be uh, helped and being asked to chair this uh, Prince's uh, Seeing and Believing visit uh, around Stoke-on-Trent today. I'm looking forward to an excellent, uh, excellent day. The real key point we're trying to get from, from this and, and is to create a point of action and this action document that we're going to be trying to develop is going to make a we're going to form a commitment from the businesses hopefully around this table. We thought a lot about how we're going to how we're going to do this and I'm hoping to get some more information today and, and get a better much better understanding about uh, uh, and awareness about what we can do as a business within our, this local community. It's very important to have a local company that has a reputation in the area. And I can't think of a better company, given the history of the company, their commitment to young people and to trading and developing the, their future workforce. I'm hoping to get out of today's visit from uh, the senior, seniors believing visitors is uh, an understanding for the visitors of what education is about now. Equally, uh, opportunities for the business people to engage on a greater basis with schools and academies across the city. Um, there are many opportunities there, opportunities for students to see the relevance of education, to put it into a work-based context. This is particularly important, I feel, in an inner city area where for many students motivation, aspiration is crucial to them attaining. Um, on a very simple basis, the idea of mentors working with students where people from business can come in, build up a one-to-one -one relationship with students to give them that understanding of business needs, but equally to, to give the student that motivation to move towards that, to progress in their education. With the Princess Trust, we're passionate about helping young people, and today's a great opportunity to show how we work with not only business in the community, but so we can go out and make a real difference and help develop young people, transform their lives, and help them get into employment. 2008, we were very much a traditional type of school. My contact with industry and business was through work experience and the occasional visit out of a group of students to a business, and that was it. 2008, and I didn't realise how long ago, was a turning point when I was approached by the city as to whether I was interested in becoming an academy and with a sponsor. At the time, academies were very much about failing schools. This was not a failing school. Stoke needed to go the academy's route to get the, the BSF project through. At the Pitchers Trust, we want to transform young people's lives. Youth unemployment is at an all-time high, and that young people need us more than ever. So we're determined to work with young people to, to develop their skills and confidence to help them get into jobs, education and training. Well, I think the biggest priority at the moment for the college is to ensure that all the training that um, takes place at college is relevant um, to meet employer needs and that the young people and adults that we enrol at the college um, develop the skills, competencies um, and right attitude for work um, and that way they'll be successful in achieving their qualifications here but just as importantly progressing into work or onto further learning to university but with those skills and attributes that are going to make them successful in their future careers. Um, my name's Jo Tizza, I'm actually Assistant Director for City Regeneration with Stoke and Trent City Council and I'm here as part of the, uh, the visit today because obviously we've got some major investment taking place across the city in terms of regeneration and we, and we want to make sure we get the maximum value and particularly actually that translates into jobs and uh, in particular also training opportunities and apprenticeships for young people. It's been really interesting, I mean I, I think um, to meet young people at the college was very helpful. Um, I think what's come through all of their conversations is that they're very motivated and they're very keen to work and, and find an apprenticeship or a job. Really. We've just heard from one or two of those. It's not, not as easy as that in the construction industry at the moment. But uh, there's certainly a lot of enthusiasm there. A lot of people really kind of dedicated to My name's Keith Dawson. Um, I own a company called Mother Town Limited. Mother Town Limited is based in the old post office in Burslem. 
um, around the corner from Josiah Wedgwood's uh, living premises at one time and opposite his bottle ovens. Um, I uh, rent the building and sublet to other small companies that produce their own pottery, produce their own uh, fabrics. Um, and we're always looking for tenants to come into the building to help us with that and keep the building going. We do have the, um, the gallery, which is, which is a showroom for everybody's products that uh, work in the building. And each company rents space dependent on their requirements to keep their business going. I'm Stephen Dixon, I'm the Managing Director of Johnson Tiles. Johnson Tiles is based in Tunstall, we've been around since 1901. We employ about 430 people and we're the largest ceramic wall and floor tile manufacturer in the UK. We, we know how to make, the, make the, the, the products, we know how to show them. We need some help to get our products out into the marketplace, out of Stoke-on-Trent, London, Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, Edinburgh where um, we, we know we've got a product good enough to, um, to take into the marketplace but haven't got enough clout to do that. The seeing it is believing is very, very important to us because we are based in a local community around here, we're based in Tunstall, uh, and there are a lot of local challenges. It's one of the poorest areas in the country and it's one of the lowest uh, educated areas in the country. Our future workforce lives here, our current workforce lives here. So it's essential for us that if we're going to continue to be successful, then the people who are coming into the business need to have ambition, need to have aspiration, and need to be very well trained. So that's why it's important to understand what's out there at the moment and how we can help to actually make things better. The pledge, the call to action, the commitment that we're going to, we're going to commit to and, 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 and deliver on, that's, that's a very, very important part of the process in providing proof and evidence that we've achieved something uh, by the end of this year is, is, is vital uh, for, the, for the success of this particular initiative. So um, I can only just urge you to continue with the good works that you've, you've been doing, but think very hard about uh, the pledge that you're going to make to this, this group of people in the Prince's Trust and the ITC as well. Today we're at the end of one of our Seeing as Believing visits to Burslem, led by Stuart Seddon, it's been a fantastic opportunity for local business representatives to see at first hand and hear from some of the people, young people particularly, the challenges they face and be asked the question, what can you do? Now we're going to look, look at the uh, commitments that have been made and the actions going forward and uh, I truly believe that we're going to have some real activity in making a difference to the people in Bursley. We've just come out of a meeting where we've made some pledges and made some commitments to how we're going to move forward uh, with this initiative in the future and we're meeting in a couple of weeks time to crystallise those thoughts.